It sounds too good to be true, a plan to harvest solar energy from space and beam it down to Earth using microwaves. Beaming solar power from space used to be considered science fiction. But in recent years, space agencies from all over the world have launched studies looking at the feasibility of constructing orbiting power plants for real. Well, the energy crisis has always been the most troublesome problem for modern humans. As early as the last century, scientists discovered that the efficiency of receiving solar energy in space is more than 10 times that of the Earth. Therefore, in order to obtain sufficient energy, people proposed the Three Gorges in Space Plan. The United States has predicted that if they can use space energy, then these energy sources will be enough to support the electricity consumption of the entire United States for half a year. Then, when will humans be able to build the Three Gorges in space? How difficult is this project? Why did the United States give up halfway? Why does China have the confidence to take over this project? Okay, let's move on. When it comes to the solution of energy crisis, most people will think of nuclear energy. After all, nuclear energy is the closest thing to infinite energy in human civilization. This is mainly because the energy supplied by nuclear energy is huge, the supply time is also very long, and it can be continuously regenerated. But it should be noted that this theory is only applicable to nuclear fusion. After all, only nuclear fusion can achieve the reuse of atoms, so that the nuclear energy reaction can continue continuously, and then bring a steady stream of light and heat to humans. For example, the sun on which human beings depend is a product of nuclear fusion. Its fusion that is going on every moment allows the sun to continuously provide radiant energy to the outside. However, it is a pity that the only nuclear energy that humans can use at present is nuclear fission, and there is still a long, long way to go before the use of complete fusion. However, the example of solar nuclear fusion also provides people with new ideas. Since the sun has a huge amount of energy due to nuclear fusion, why can't we use this energy directly? In fact, in the 1970s, many scholars proposed this kind of thinking, which is solar energy. I believe that everyone will be familiar with this energy. Whether it is a solar water heater or a solar battery, these are the specific applications of solar energy. But shockingly, this is not the ultimate form of solar energy. Because under the interception of the atmosphere, the radiation energy that the Earth's ground can obtain is really very little. And if you want to obtain the highest level of radiant energy, you must go to space, where the received solar energy will be dozens of times higher than that received by the Earth's ground. According to statistics, at the same time, a square of solar panels on the ground to obtain the energy, and will not exceed 1000 watts, but if it is in the space environment, it can exceed 14,000 watts, a difference of 14 times the efficiency. Therefore, if human beings want to obtain unlimited energy, the fastest shortcut is to build a power station in space and rely on the sun for long-term energy acquisition. It is worth mentioning that the person who first proposed this theory was Nikola Tesla, a world-renowned scientist in the 19th century. He believed that the universe is full of energy, and humans need to find ways to receive this energy. But it was an American novelist, Isaac Asimov, who spread this theory. In 1941, in his work, he described human beings building space power stations, which aroused discussions among countless readers. Afterwards, the US authorities launched a space energy mining program for the first time in the 1970s, which also included a space power station program called 1979 SPS Reference System. However, due to the difficulty of implementation, the project was postponed indefinitely. What is shocking is that China has taken over this project, and has given it a more vivid name Chasing Sun Project. The core of this project lies in the construction of space solar power stations. According to the existing theories, the difficulties of space power generation mainly focus on three points, namely, the construction of space power stations, the power generation of solar energy, and the reception of ground energy. According to previous estimates made by the Americans, the mass of a conventional space power station will not be less than 100,000 tons, 
which means that a rocket with a strong thrust is needed to send it into space. Or, it would require carrying equipment back and forth multiple times, sending parts to space in batches for assembly. This may be a very difficult project for other countries. For example, the United States previously relied on the Space Shuttle to ascend to the space, which made space transportation extremely difficult. First, the success rate of manned launch is low. Secondly, it is almost impossible to carry out loading and manning at the same time. This means that if the United States wants to assemble a power station in the universe, the launch cost alone will be a lot of money. Moreover, this is still based on the fact that all launches are successful. Once there is a launch failure, the cost will continue to increase. However, for China, this kind of space transportation is possible. Because China has mastered the Long March heavy duty rocket technology, China's Long March heavy duty rocket not only has excellent load carrying capacity, but also can carry people, which makes the construction of space power stations relatively easier. In addition, with the experience of assembling the Tiangong Space Station, China's construction capabilities in outer space are also quite strong. However, this only solves the first difficulty. After the construction of the power station is completed, photoelectric conversion needs to be carried out. But solar energy collection in space is obviously different from the situation on the ground. First of all, without the protection of the atmosphere, the solar radiation will be extremely strong, which is a quality test for solar collector panels. Moreover, space power stations are different from ordinary satellites, and they will stay in the universe for a very long time. If ordinary solar panels are selected, they cannot withstand such long-term and high-intensity radiation. Therefore, further tests and selections are needed for the light panel materials for space power stations. Fortunately, in response to this problem, China established a key laboratory at Shijin University in 2018. This is China's first experimental base in the field of space solar power plants. It is responsible for the design of space power plants, which naturally includes the selection of materials and the discussion and resolution of other construction issues. After solving the construction and operation of the space station, there is only one last problem left which is how to transport the obtained electric energy back to the Earth. After all, the height of the space power station from the ground cannot be lower than 30,000 kilometers. This means that the usual mode of cable transmission is not applicable at all, only remote transmission is available. To this end, China specially selected a site in Bishan, Chongqing, and built the country's first space solar power station receiving base. Here, a group of experts will conduct research on the remote transmission and reception of energy. According to the introduction of team experts, the transmission method currently being considered is to convert electrical energy into microwaves and then transmit them back to the Earth through a transmitter. At present, the plan is progressing very smoothly. According to the China Space Science and Technology magazine, China will build the first solar power station in outer space in 2028 and it will be used by some users in 2035. At that time, China's energy use will inevitably rise to a new level, just like the completion of the Three Gorges Dam back then, but this time the Three Gorges exists in space. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.